I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank and file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. We have a few minutes to fill, so can we finally talk about Brooklyn Von Braun's latest movie release? Uh, sure. I guess. Uh, I'll let you go first. What'd, what'd you think? You didn't watch it, did you? No, I, I totally did. Uh, Brooklyn, she was great. She really knew her <laughs> lines, and her hair was really nice, and she, <laughs> she, uh, she handled the props really well. Seriously? Okay, fine. I blew it off, but I just figured you'd fill me in. Well, this segment's off to a great start. <sighs> Where was I? Brooklyn plays an MMA fighter. Big stretch. Ooh. Are you going to snark? Or are you going to let the person who actually watched the movie do the segment? Sorry. Continue. Well, when her MMA career is derailed due to injury, a chance encounter leads her to the world of competitive tap dancing. Hence the title, Tapping Out. Hmm. Sounds like I made the right call not watching it. It was actually entertaining. And hey, as long as it's not getting in the way of her training, then she should do whatever she wants. Besides, you have to give her credit for trying new things, which is something you could attempt every once in a while. P I just tried this new movie review segment. Not a fan. I'm going to start my own podcast. Women who respect their co-hosts. Aw, that's a bit wordy. Anyway, speaking of new things, we have a brand new sponsor who can help you become the next WWE superstar. Are you sick of going through life unrecognized and unappreciated? Well, what if I told you in just a few months I could make you famous around the world? Because that's what I did for WWE superstars Red and Trey. With my help and a sizable but fair tuition, they went from losers to bruisers. So if you want to get on the fast track to WWE success, there's only one place to do it, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Fame and fortune is only one call away. So give me a ring and I'll see you in the ring. Red and Trey did not authorize this message and WWE success is highly unlikely.
instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should... Thanks for the advice, but... Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing... Who do you have Is that a serious question? I'll see you in the ring. The following cont- Inch- Since winning the Raw Women's Championship, Red has defended her title against all challengers. This is the first time, however, that she faces an opponent with the athleticism of Bianca Belair. You know, it sounds cliche, but these two are driven to be the best. That alone should create an ultra-competitive matchup tonight. If Red takes this likely, not only could she part ways with her title, she could also become the new EST of WWE, as in latest to lose to Bianca Belair. Richer perfect dropkick. Oh, and a knee to the face. The challenger's looking shaken. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. By my estimation, Bianca Belair is pound for pound the best athlete in the NXT women's division. Well, that's part of what being the EST is all about. And it's been Belair's recipe for success since debuting in NXT. But it's her strength and power game specifically that she needs to rely on in this match. She's taking charge here. She's fighting hard and it is paying off. Great technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Big kick right to the gut. Changes her fortune there. She scores big with the counter. Devastating elbow. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top row. Oh, jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Oh, what a German suplex. Karana. Samoan driver. That has got to be it. The challenger is in some. Retains the title. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. Extremely impressive win, guys. It's successful defenses like this that make the champion such a feared competitor. Thanks for tuning in for this championship match, and what an amazing match it was.
I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4 and- You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens- So I'm is this one of the states you're certified to- Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar- I guess I need to find an ATM. I like your confidence. Now let's- Oh, this is my favorite part. He's gonna sing. Yeah. We've been informed this match has a rather unusual stipulation. If Trey can defeat our truth, the truth will give Trey acting lessons to prepare for an upcoming audition. Hey, I've seen a lot of different matches over the years, but this is a first. But is our truth even qualified to teach acting? I mean, I'd like to see a certification because something tells me it doesn't exist. Well, putting the legitimacy of our truth's credentials aside, that's what's on the line for Trey tonight. Proving tough to catch. Amazing reflexes on yeah. display. He's in control. That's absolute power with a vertical suplex. Perhaps a trifecta. Our truth starting to stall a bit here. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Samoan driver. That has got to be it. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. German suplex. Really just laying it in. Uh oh. What a hurricanrana! <laughs> DDT! Wow, what agility! This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Look at the height! Frog splash! Ducks under. Going for the X Flex, man. I think we're about to see it. Step through. Styles Cruise. Guys, I think this one's over. Come on, our truth. You can do this. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, the phenomenal one, AJ M. Well, that one was over before it even started. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. With that win of the books, we must now move on.
Thanks again for helping me out. Quiet on the set! The director always has complete authority. Actors will only speak when spoken to. Sorry. And you probably don't need the megaphone since I'm like three feet away. Never question the decision of a director or someone pretending to be a director. My bad. Now, as a certified acting coach, the first thing I need to teach you is about visualization. I want you to close your eyes. Good. Now imagine you're in an office, ranking various items from best to worst. And then you place those rankings in a very important file. But when you come back from lunch, the file is gone. How does that make you feel? How is this relevant? Aren't the rank and file movies, workplace, dramas? Full disclosure, I've never seen any of them. Uh, they're action films about rank and file soldiers who ignore their commanding officer's orders so they can rise to the occasion and stop the enemy. You know, with badass fight scenes and heart-wrenching suspense. Oh, well, there goes everything I had planned. I did think there was a lot of explosions in the script for a film about office work. Wait, you have the script? I thought the director wasn't letting anyone see it for fear that the producers of Soldier 5 might get a hold of it and copy its intricate and highly unique plot points. Any good actor steals the strip. I, I mean, acquires it before an audition. Here, memorize these lines. It will give you a leg up on the competition. Now give those back to me. I need to destroy the evidence. I, 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 I mean, put the strip back where I just happened to find it. And that concludes my seminar. I hope I have provided you with a solid foundation to begin your acting career. And if you take one thing away from this, just remember, your next payment is due in six days. Good luck, man. Sorry, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank-and-file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's gonna end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So, I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we want to get sweet revenge. Perfect! That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. 
Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck. Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins. So the only one who's gonna be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> okay, miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so-called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Don't mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director! The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock? Country? Hip-hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're gonna stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want a part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant his wife forced him to hire so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you here? This is my turf. 
Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Going off script with the slap, but I like it. Use that anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? <clears throat> cut, cut, that's a wrap. Is anyone filming this? Is anyone? Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. That was so honest! This is going to wash away the taste of shame from the last time in Park City. <gasps> Just like old times. <laughs>
Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Is anyone filming this? Is anyone... Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. For your consideration, rank and file four. Those haters in Park City, this will show them. my set. I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer and I'm not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at me! Okay, that's lunch. Miz, I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? 
I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure. I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? By settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off, but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So, if you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. This is such an intriguing matchup, but you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn on Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen, because from what I heard about their audition dust-up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. She scores big with the counter. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Oh, no! 
Someone call the orthodontist. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. So precise with the super kick. She's feeling the hurt here. She's looking relentless now. Nobody can match up with this woman when she's on. It looks like it might all be over for the team of Maurice and Miz. What is that? I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And scene. French kiss DDT. Maurice capitalizes on Red being distracted and pulls off the upset. What a huge win for the It Couple. Oh, the timing of that footage playing was certainly no accident. It looked like Red was about to put Maurice away. I think there's your answer on who played the footage. That was a coordinated effort among those three. Hey, it's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton. We've seen plenty of ladder matches in WWE history, but none quite like this where the script for the action film, Rank and Fight 4, has been suspended above the ring in a briefcase. Whoever climbs the ladder and retrieves the script first will win both the match and the starring role. It's a travesty of justice that Miz even has to go through something like this to get a role that should have already been his. He is one of the greatest actors of our time. I don't know about that, but I do know that this lights, camera, action ladder match is going to be a smash hit with audiences and critics worldwide. Saxton, why don't you treat this like we're at the movies? No talking. What's he got in mind? Driver. The Miz looking a little bit shaken. Not a situation he wants to be in when he still has a ladder to pick. He continues to press forward. It's starting to come together in a big way for this guy. Not looking good right now. Boom, right in the button. Trey hammers Miz in the corner. Brooklyn Von Braun! I had a feeling she'd get involved tonight. Do you blame her? She wants Miz to win so she can have a legitimate co-star in the movie. And here's Red to stop Brooklyn from spoiling this match. This is pure jealousy. Red couldn't beat Brooklyn in the audition, so now she's taking it out on her. That's ridiculous. She's only out here to help her friend, Trey. And it appears she's been able to accomplish that. Red has neutralized Brooklyn as they head to the back. Cut! Cut! There's no cutting in this match. Perhaps feeling a little more comfortable on the outside at this point. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Oh, look at what's coming! 
Again. That's two. And perhaps a trifecta. What's going to happen now? Samoan driver. Say, do you guys think after this match, The Miz might have enough energy to host an installment of Miz TV? It's the most must-see WWE talk show in history. He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Not sure what they're thinking. The ascent begins. And he's Man. got him where he wants him now. Oh, right up there. Dangerous territory up there, guys. You think? The Miz definitely in a tough spot now. Yeah, he needs to make an adjustment here. Sorry, Michael, let me get back to your question about Miz TV. I don't think we'll see an episode after this match, but you know, another one is coming soon. He's been doing the show for over 11 years. Look, every WWE superstar of note has appeared on Miz TV. Heck, even football and basketball stars have graced that gorgeous leather couch on Miz TV. Masterful execution by The Miz. Kicked by The Miz. This match is his if he can just pull it down. Close, but not there quite yet. Up, up, and away. Oh, and now he's continuing the fight up top. Ladder fights never end well, for one of them at least. No turning back now. Looking to unhook it here. Here we go. Pulling something down from that height certainly ain't easy. Tell me about it. No matter how you feel about anyone's acting skills, this is a huge night for Trey. He beat a future Hall of Famer in a pressure-filled, high-stakes ladder match at the biggest party of the summer. As far as I'm concerned, Trey deserves the role and all respect. Now, that's nice, but as of now, I'm officially boycotting rank and file four. Sorry, Brooklyn. I'll just have to catch you in your next film.